I'm starting um like I, I I'm not expecting to have too many people uh, in this um uh, live session <clears throat> mostly is because I haven't sent an email is the first uh, live session that uh, that we are doing um so again <clears throat> I'm not expecting too many people we haven't organized very well for this live first live session uh but um yeah we will organize better next time um so uh Lucio, you're a veteran in uh, in this uh, <laughs> project. Probably you know a few things uh, better than I know. <laughs> um, yeah. But anyway, I... the the idea about these uh, live sessions uh, is to to talk about uh, go through tools to talk about uh, how to shoot with the. Uh, with cameras like uh, Z1, Insta360, DSLR, and um, how to... Hi, Anton. Hello, hello. Hello. Can you... Yes, we can hear you. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so uh, I, I was uh, saying that uh, the the reason behind these uh, live sessions will be to to talk about uh, how to use go through tools how to shoot with z1 and uh, other cameras or dslr uh, tips and tricks about those cameras and uh, how to sell virtual tours um, basically um, me and Alina, because we work together, um, we've shot over 700 tours here in uh, in Toronto, and um, we haven't hit the street. Like we, I think only in the beginning, I when Google started the project in 2012, uh, I just uh, I tried to go on the street a few times, and that was not for me. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so <clears throat> so we had to to come with uh with another way of finding clients uh, i mean basically right now we are not uh active selling anything regarding street view it's just like whatever clients that we have they are coming because they are previous clients of our collaborations with other photographers in the industry um, and new clients that uh, found us uh, and uh, yeah but we we don't actually shoot now when you get such a, a big uh, body of work then these things are much easier uh, but anyway, we're going to uh, explain how we did it in the beginning when um, we didn't uh, have uh, this, uh, these shots. So, um, okay, so what I will do is just go ahead and briefly talk about uh, go through vision, which is an ecosystem for everything that is 360 um, and let me find this um, okay oh this yeah. is uh, I'll uh, can you just uh, sorry for the interference uh, can you please start the FB live also that's uh... to sorry FB live oh FB live okay yeah okay. yeah okay so uh, I don't know how to do that, but let's see. Um, I'm going to Facebook and do what do I do here? Uh, yeah. My video is starting. Yeah. It says. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not sure. It says live. <laughs> yeah. 
it's gonna so, start once in just one second. So is is it live or not? I don't know. Uh, it's just starting. Yeah, it started now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to hear a little about uh, you and how we go through started in the initial a minute about uh, okay, how so, it all triggered. Yeah. Okay. So we are we are live. Yeah. Okay, we are live. Okay, so let me put this back in. Okay. Uh, yeah, so go through uh, in, and Lucio knows he, he, was be, he was here from the beginning. <clears throat> yes, when it was just only uh, a plugin. <laughs> yes, so um, basically <clears throat> Google launched the project uh, of uh, Google Street View inside businesses back in 2012. And um, I had, I have a friend, my best friend, like I grew up with, he is a search engine optimizer. And back then in 2011, I was into real estate photography. My main reason I was into real estate photography because I, life, I, I loved photography and I wanted a small business on the side of my main uh, software engineer. Uh, business so because at work i was doing virtual tours like creating a platform for virtual tours for real estate i said okay and i can buy a camera and start playing with it so i did that i think i shoot real estate for about uh, five years but uh, back in 2011 um my friend like I, and i was talking with, with my friends and i was saying oh i want to build this platform for 360 uh, uh images and panoramic images I, and uh he said like hey look uh, google has this project in the united states where you can go inside a business and he gave me a form uh that i fill up um and forgot about it now a year later, I, around my 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 birthday in uh, 2012, I got this email from um, from someone at uh, at Google that if, if I want to join the the project, so I say, hey, yeah, of course. Uh, but in my back hair, back of mind, like as okay, I want to also build something in the 360 space. So joining the project, how I didn't know exactly how that will affect my future plans uh, for, for creating a platform that will compete probably at some point with Google. I don't know, I, it was just like uh, thoughts in my head that I said, okay, you know what? Like I was just go uh, join the project and uh, see what's gonna happen. Mostly the issue was uh, for me back then, we had to sign a um, non-disclosure so that was my 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 issue. Anyway, in the beginning it was like they the Google trained us. We had to do some tests. Uh, we have to have the uh, correct uh, equipment, cameras, plus everything. Um, and after all that, then we were certified as a Google trusted photographer. Uh, and then we had to start selling <laughs> now the issue was i had a, a full-time job i was a you know, software engineer and then i was shooting real estate um we had uh, two small kids uh, at home and then um i had this extra task of going out and selling uh virtual tours for for google uh, so it, it was a bit like um, I did a few sales here and there. I got uh, uh, in the beginning, I, 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 I got a client, uh, like a, a big car dealership in, in Toronto. I think one of the first was a Porsche. Um, 
Yes. And then the Lamborghini. So it was, yeah, it w- was feeling feeling good on hit uh, on on actually shooting. But I didn't have too much time uh, of selling. Uh, and back then, I didn't have any tools that uh, would allow me to, to sell more. So the business for the Google, like 2012, was so, so like we were doing the shots, but not uh, getting the, the perks because Google back then was, was giving out perks. Um, Anyway, uh, fast forward in 2013, um, my wife, Alina, uh, um, decided to, to join the team and uh, she started uh, uh, more aggressively to go after businesses in Toronto. Um, and that's when uh, I think the, the business started to, to grow a bit. Um, a bit more uh, no. so thanks to Alina we we are where we are now um, what Alina did it was a combination of some tools that I've created to send emails uh, that are proper tailed for a particular business plus um, she was uh, going uh, after uh, uh, people on LinkedIn, like finding uh, the decision maker on LinkedIn. And also I was scanning uh, back then the Google uh, Maps for all the businesses in the GTA GTA area and then identifying (coughs) businesses with a lot of uh, uh, location. And basically that's how we did it is we focused <clears throat> on businesses that have lots of locations. So, for example, one of our clients is a beer store, and then beer store <clears throat> has 200 locations. Now, we haven't reshoot, uh, shot all 200, but that, that was a nice project. And that we, even right now, we, we get a job here and there from, from them because they are uh, going through a process of rebranding and they are redoing all the stores. So slowly, slowly we are doing the, their stores. Um, and then we, we've got uh, a big uh, dental corporation that has, I think, 30 locations. And then we got the, um, the competition with another 30 locations. So it's just like going after big corporation with lots of locations this way you don't have to sell like 30 times you just sell once and then you well, you build this way your portfolio and you get to be noticed yeah and what happened uh, i think around 2014 uh we we got a, a client were actually the mayor of uh, Vaughan City, which is uh, a city nearby Toronto, and it's part of the Toronto Greater Area, um, contacted uh, Alina and said, hey, I'm the mayor. <laughs> like, uh, uh, like, we want a virtual tour for, for the city hall. And uh, it's like, imagine, like you got the call from, <laughs> oh man, that was pretty, pretty big. Um, and uh, we, we start working on the project. Uh, we created all the images, went a few times there. A pretty big project for me back then. That, that was, I think, 100 panels. That, that was a, a big project back then. Um, and what happened was in 2014, Google publishing was really bad, like really bad. It, like we were publishing a tour and you had to wait like two, two weeks, uh, to, to, to be published. And then anyway, the project 
were, had had issues from the beginning, like 2012 till prison, the, the project on Google still has issues. Anyway, it will work by the end of, yeah, like two or three weeks uh, if you have issues, but anyway, the, yeah, the, 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 the project had issues even back then. And one was the issue that you had to wait two or three weeks for a tour to publish and see whatever you did. Second, it was the issue that you were doing all this work and then if your client had a comment, like in this case, they wanted to blur all the faces of the um, uh, um, uh, counselors. Like, okay, what do I do now? I have to redo all those 100 connections and blur everything and then publish and wait another two weeks. So it was like a combination of, okay, we have to reshoot a few things. We have to blur these things. We have to, and after two or three publications, it's like, okay, I cannot do this anymore. Like I cannot rebuild the whole Rome from ground. Like every every time the client asks uh, for something, and um, back then uh, I joined Facebook. Like I I was not into Facebook uh, too much, but I joined Facebook because I think uh, that's where the the biggest community for the Google Trusted Photographers was and I wanted to learn. Now I learned to learn to learn how to shoot better, how to um, to improve all my skills. Like, I always like to improve my skills. So there was some guy from actually Montreal on, on Facebook that he had some code regarding how to make your life easier. I looked for that code, couldn't find it. And that's a good thing. <laughs> and couldn't I figured out what he was doing. Anyway, I tried to do something, but with whatever I found that couldn't, it didn't work. So I said, you know what, heck it. I'm a software engineer. I think if uh, someone else did something, uh, I can do the research and I can build something for myself. So start analyzing communication between server uh, browser and Google servers when working on this uh, project and manage to, to hack into, into that communication so we can, I, I was able to save through some scripts the constellation on my computer and then push it to Google when I was uploading new images. So that back, yeah, it was 2015, uh, I think in, at the, at the end of the year around December, um, managed to do this. And then I said, okay, this is really nice, really powerful. And so many people are struggling with the same issue that I'm struggling. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a Chrome plugin that will allow everyone really easy with two clicks of a button to save the constellation and then apply the constellation back to the Google moderator. So they don't have to go through the pain of, you know. So. It I saved my life several, more, several times. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that, Joe. Yeah. And. I was in, in Cuba on the beach, 2016, and had a piece of paper and sketching up the ideas that I had and how the plugin should look like, how the plugin would work. And then came home and literally for about uh, a month and a half or two months after sleeping, I went going to bed about 3 a.m. I have managed to create this plugin because there are different problems. You, you have problems like, oh, okay, the browser doesn't allow you to do this. How do you overcome this issue? 
how do you do this? Like, anyway, the different security issues that the browser has put in front of you, you had to overcome them and come with a solution. So created this plugin and, and yeah, in the same time I had my full-time job shooting real estate, uh, uh, shooting uh, <laughs> Google, but I, I realized that, okay, this is my moment. Like if I'm not doing something right now, it's just gonna, I'm gonna lose the train. Like I, I need to do something. I, and one of my thing is I'm a super independent person. Like I, I love to do things by myself. I love to do things that no one tells me, okay, you should do this and you should do that and whatever. It, even when I was at work, like I had a full-time job, like I was trying to to explain to, to my bosses, like, okay, we should do this, we should do that, how we should do it. But they were not like paying attention to what I was saying. So it, it, that was a bit frustrated, you know? So anyway, I think uh, around April 2016, created this plugin and then uh, may, made it uh, live. No, I think it was March and by April, I created, like, took me a month to create the go through website, which is actually still almost the same like the first version, uh, the, the back end of the go through website. Uh, so, and that was so people can manage every, every save tour that they created that say use the go through Chrome plugin. So, yeah. That was good, and in the beginning there were not too many people, but uh, we had uh, we had a few, and by the time, uh, like the the plugin was free. Like I didn't want to charge in the beginning. I wanted to like, everyone to to test it, and to we had to fix a few things here and there. Anyway, it, it, it was a lot of work maintaining it and people had issues sometimes. But by October of that year, mm, I said, okay, I cannot do this anymore. Like full-time job, working on the plugins, shooting real estate, shooting businesses. So he said, okay, we're going to put a price on the go-through and just go from there um so we put the price we got almost almost close close to what i was doing at work back then um but not quite so it, it was a, still a bit of struggle it, 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 and in the same time you know, uh, i start hearing that Okay, Google is going to cut the moderator. So once I was at that level, I, I started to talk with more people, with agencies from the United States that had ties to Google. So I'm starting to hear all this. Like, um, and um, hi, Alina. Welcome to the, to the group. <laughs> uh, so it, it, the problem is like, okay, you build all this tool. Now, Google is going to cut it. <laughs> it was not fun. <laughs> so and my plan still was like real estate, real estate. So I wanted to take what Google did for, uh, for the street view inside and then make it for uh for real estate like where you can create this navigation uh and we start working on uh the go through moderator uh, back in the spring of 2016 and luck i th i suppose um the ivrpa talk of that year was organized in Quebec City. Quebec City is not too far from Toronto. 
Um, so was uh, traveling was not a big expense for me, but uh, I heard that there will be there uh, a Google, uh, someone from Google. I said, okay, I, I, I want to go. I want to show to that Google guy what we did with go through plugin uh, and maybe, I don't know, to, to get some recognition from them and I don't know, because we were helping a lot of people at that time. So we went to this, uh, uh, this conference and Charles uh, Armstrong, he was uh, the product manager back then, didn't even heard about go through. They heard about some guy trying to hack uh, their moderator and stuff like that, but nothing concrete. So I showed him what we did, show him the moderator that I'm working on. And at that time, like he said, I, I, after he analyzed me a bit, he said, okay, Alan, come here. So he said, you know, in 2000, like, he didn't say 2017, but he said like, okay, we are planning to terminate the Google moderator because what's happening, the whole project is, is not scaling up. Yeah? They wanted more content and they holding on to uh, only that tool, then it, it, it didn't allow them to grow. So I said, okay, we're going to open up the project. Yes, that will push more content that is not as high standard as we request, requested up till now, but it will allow more 360, more exposure to 360 images. And say, okay, well, I'm going to have you in this beta project where you're going to get access to the API that we are building. You and two more businesses. Back then, I didn't know the other two businesses, but that was not our focus. Our focus was building the best moderator tool that we could build. And uh, thanks to, to, to my programmers that we have is we manage to, to do that um, and by February of uh, 2017 Google announced that they are terminating the moderator and exactly the same day we created a video with a demo where I'm showing up how the moderator the new moderator works and I'm happy that to that even back then the moderator was better than what google had google moderator was crushing if you had too many images inside the moderator it was crushing we had no no issue with crushing the moderator um so yeah since uh, then uh, go through basically is the leader uh, on publishing uh, to S Google Street View because the moderator was so good. Now it's been, I don't know, uh, almost five years since we launched the moderator. Probably we'll have to do an update at some point um, and make it uh, uh, even better. But right now, our focus is on the, the go through overlay system. Um, so, yeah, in, yeah, so basically 2017, we started with go through as it is right now. And since people were using us, they requested virtual tours, virtual tours via the Google API and virtual tours like hosted by go through and yeah i think in 2018 we had our first version of the 
go through overlay editor which like as a like i i can say today like i, I was a skept skeptic about about this um i was not to focus on selling uh enhanced virtual tours my my focus was on pushing uh pushing tours to google and i th i thought that okay that's what people want they want to publish tours to google street view but um i think this year we've shot um over i don't know uh 150 locations probably from all these 150 locations that we've shot this year uh i think 75 percent if not more they want only the virtual tours they are actually not interested in the google tour so we got those contracts because of the virtual tour of the overlays so yeah that's one thing it's you should try to push those virtual tours to your clients uh and um put them on a subscription like a yearly fee that you charge every client so this way you you get a recurring fee from from your business yeah so that's it yeah overall this is the the history of how go through uh is what it is right now mm, basically we focused on helping people and my background in uh in this and i'm still shooting to, you know, along with with alina we are still shooting we are learning in understanding the issues that everyone have and we are putting back into go through all this knowledge to build a better tool for everyone yeah so again that's what uh, how go through is what it is uh, and our vision is not done yet is we are working on things that will come next year and those things uh will change how 360 will be seen uh, by the world so and i hope that whatever we're gonna do is gonna make people more aware and give more jobs to all of us in this industry but anyway i cannot talk too much about that that's coming the beginning of next year hopefully by by january so stay tuned on, on that um so um yeah so sequire uh yeah yeah so um i think next is uh it's already half an hour i don't want to keep people too too much here on uh, uh on this uh, hangout um, um <clears throat> so what what i wanted to to talk about uh, actually in this uh live session was about the go through uh universe and how we can we, we have tools in basically every major area in uh, out, out there uh, we have the uh, go through vr navigator and that's a tool that where you create a virtual touring go through and you get access to to see the tour in oculus quest quest 2 uh and on the phones via uh, uh google cardboard on your android and ios so that's a really really nice tool we've uh updated this uh, this summer it has a new ui you can search for things you can link lock 
the tool only to your tours. Uh, it can cache a tour so you can have it offline. It's really amazing tool. And we are actually right now rebuilding it from zero. So next year we're going to have a new version that will be better um, yep, than whatever we have right now. So that's the good through VR. Now, a street builder, it's a desktop uh, application for processing uh, 360 videos. Now, this tool that processes 360 videos can be used to publish the video to Google Street View, but not only. We have uh, people that have personal projects where they don't want these tools on Google. So they want to create uh, like uh, something similar with Street View, but hosted by them. Um, yeah. And they go, they create these like private companies, railways, the documenting, things like that. So we modified the last year, the uh, go through overlay system so it can support unlimited number of panoramic images. So when you combine that support on unlimited panoramas plus the video, you can build for your clients these personal projects yeah, that are not public. I think that's really, really important. Then we have the virtual tour creator, the our overlay editor. And that is really a piece of art. Um, and if you consider that we built that editor in, let's say, I don't know, four years, that's, yeah, it's, it's not as powerful as some other desktop applications yet but it's already very powerful now, uh, just for four years and you have lots of customization you can do css you can modify from css all the plugins that we have and we are working right now on a new um a new um but we are redesigning the uh, hotspot where you're going to have multiple hotspot types, CSS support, uh, next panel inside the hotspot without you cropping. Like right, I'm seeing right now people are creating a, co a copy of, of the next panel, positioning it into, uploading to us manager. I think it no, it's gonna be just like a drag and drop and boom, the hotspot it has the next panel. So lots of new improvements on the hotspot side and new plugins. So it's gonna be a, a really awesome release. Plus we speed it up uh, uh the viewer. Uh so yeah. This is this is really nice. And then we have the Street Editor. Street Editor is the mobile app that allows people that don't uh, they are not familiar with connecting panoramas on a desktop to connect panoramas on mobile. If you haven't tried it, I urge you to try it. I, I find it really easy uh, to connect panoramas now. I consider myself an expert. I'm moderating. I'm fly through moderating, and we will have a session where we're gonna explain exactly how to moderate tours. Um, because most of the people that probably are using go through, they are moderating using the map, and, and that is the wrong way to moderating. When I'm moderating basically not touching the map till the end. I'm just using the keyboard in my mouse 
do all the connections and at the end I'm just stretching up some connections and connect the uh, uh, close on some loops and then the panora pa panorama tools that we have like auto level and auto blurring now auto blurring is not working yet very well uh, actually right now it's not working at all but i'm pretty confident that in the next two or three weeks we're gonna uh, redo the auto blurring and uh, have it work properly and go through video tools this is something almost unique to to go through uh, where you have uh, these two tools like one is the 360 video tool uh, where we create a slideshow of 360 images and then once you upload them to, to YouTube or Vimeo or Facebook the, the tour can be uh, the video can be interact with and then we have the new release this year the go through walkthrough video which allows you easily to select a path and then go through that path like automatically create the video going through from point A to point B. Um, no, so actually that is a very used uh, tool. It, it's there are more people using the video walkthrough feature than people using the go through 360 video. So yeah, it's it's a small universe but everything that if if it's something related to 360 images we do it and we do have big plans not uh, like creating applications similar with with matterport you no know, uh in but that's not not yet we haven't started design we have a uh, actually a new app that we're gonna release uh, probably next month and uh, we're gonna talk about it it's not related to 360 images uh, but is related to the 360 space like virtual reality I'm really excited about that that app um, and you might be able to use it or not for your clients um, yep yeah. so um, go through is is growing and that's thanks to to you everyone uh, through the feedback through and through the the support uh, yeah, uh, by supporting uh, us and the, our developers now um yeah i think i talked a lot uh, <laughs> and uh, if uh, if there are any questions um yeah, we. I, I'm happy to to answer them. Uh, let me see where is the hangout. Well, you talk um, you talk about something like a Matterport uh, dollhouse. Is this something really happening? Uh, not right now. Uh, it's um, so we are working on a new. Like we went through. We we've, we've been working for the last year or so on a new project, uh, which I I can uh, I can show it to you a bit, and you will understand uh, the direction. So we have a new project, it's called Vloom. And uh, Vloom uh, is not launched yet, uh, but it's, it's open. You can go ahead, create an account. Um, we don't have a price yet for it. Um, but Vloom is an application that is um, dedicated for uh, artists in galleries where they can create a virtual gallery and um, and add the, their artworks now my reason of building this up and this this is app is not like 
is it is built by go through I have a partner uh, with it um, so it's not fully go through uh, and um, in this we my scope with this app was to learn about 3d yeah. so <clears throat> right now this is how it looks now um, we did an update on on the gallery and there are some issues with uh, with the paintings they are not in the correct uh, position um, so right now our focus is uh, this application and once we are uh, done and steady and this application is up and running uh, because right now we are in test uh, testing we gonna start uh, looking into creating uh, doll houses yeah because all this knowledge that we accumulated creating these um, is there and it's just a matter of taking it and creating that up now the problem is uh, is not gonna be the app is not gonna be uh, the 3d dollhouse app will not gonna be anytime soon i'm expecting it sometime in 2023 yeah. so basically next year we're gonna uh, do the work and uh, you're gonna be able to use it uh, the year after uh, so that's the my my thing is if we do something we we want to do the best yeah we want to do uh yeah that's that's what people are expecting from go through the best quality the best tool um and um, that's our will be our target So right now in, in Velum we have a, a few galleries. Uh, we have the spaces. Uh, the yes, place. a few spaces. Yeah. Uh, but we, we are working on adding more. Uh, again, it's still in, in beta, like it's internal, I would say. But anyone can create something on it. It's uh, interesting for um, artists, for photographers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you will be able to to have those galleries and, uh, uh, but again, it's it's built by go through, and we learned, and then we're gonna take this and then we're gonna apply it to to the space where to the dollhouse uh, space. Okay, any, any other questions? I don't know exactly how this works. I don't know. Yeah, okay, so um, if that's uh, it, then we will uh, terminate the meeting for uh, for today and thank you for for joining and um, I think we're gonna have a meeting like this every every week and um, gonna go into more details regarding the tools that we have how do we sell them um, yep yeah, so things things like that Thanks, Al. Really interesting. Okay. See you next week. Okay. Okay, Anton. Bye bye. <laughs>